skeletal system. Have you ever thought of what gives our body shape, protect our delicate organs? and helps us to move, did you ever think of it? What is this framework made up of? It is a skeleton. It is made of bone and cartilage. Bone is a rigid structure, a connective tissue. Cartilage is a flexible connective tissue and present in the joints between the bones and other areas, like nose and ear. Let us understand different parts of skeleton. Skull is made up of cranial and facial bones. Cranium is the hardest part of skull and protects brain. Facial gives shape to the face. All the bones of the skull are firm and do not move only the bone of lower jaw moves that help us to eat and speak. Two sockets formed by the facial bones protect the eyes. Let's go to next part of the skeleton. Backbone or vertebral column is made up of many small bones called as vertebrae. Vertebrae are hollow at the center and are joined together. Spinal cord runs in the center. Would you like to know more about other parts of the body? Bone in the center is sternum and joined to it are curved bones which at the back are joined to vertebral column. These are ribs and this whole cover forms a rib cage. It protects heart and lungs. Can you see some ribs are not attached ventrally? How many pairs are there? These are floating ribs. Have you ever thought of what helps in our arm movement? Just feel the collar bones on either side of neck. This is clavicle and attached to shoulder blade or scapula. This gives shape to the shoulder and also helps in the movement of arms. Arms has two parts. Upper arm and forearm joined at the elbow. Bones of the forearm are attached to the wrist. Wrist is made up of many small bones. Five bones form palm. They are joined to the wrist bones at one end and the finger and thumb bones at the other end. Each finger bone has three bones while the thumb has two bones. Hip bone is formed by three bones fused together. The two hip bones are joined to the vertebrae in the hip region and form pelvic girdle. Thigh bone. Observe bones forming legs and foot. Thigh bone is the longest bone. The bones of the foot and ankle are arranged in such a way that they form an arch. This arch helps to support the weight stand and walk or run. People who do not have this arch are flat-footed. Joint is a place where two or more bones are joined. There are two types of joints. Fixed which do not allow any movement. You saw a movable joint in our skull. Where else are they located in our body? A. Ball and socket joint. The rounded head of one bone fits into the socket of another and allows movement in all direction. B. Hinge joint. It allows movement in one direction only like a door hinge. C. Pivot joint. Bone earring rotates around a pivot or axis as head moves from side to side. D. Gliding joint. Joints between vertebrae that allow small movements, like bending. 
Can you name any age-related disorder of bones? Well, there's osteoporosis. It's the result of the cumulative impact of bone loss and deterioration of the bone structure as people age. They're at high risk of one or more fractures. We learned that the femur is the largest bone in our body. So what's the smallest bone in our body? Well, the three smallest bones in the human body are the auditory ossicles found in the middle ear. They are the malleus, the stapes, and the incus. The stapes, or also called the stirrup, is the smallest bone. The skeletal system helps in different types of body movements. When we eat food, it moves to different parts for digestion. Is the skeletal system also involved in this? How does the food move? To know more about what happens to the food and how it moves, watch the digestive system. Digestive system.